Hello and welcome to Question Time. I'm Benga Ashiro. Reactions from the highest national honor conferred lately on the presumed winner of the June 12, 1993 elections, late MK Abiola, and the recognition of the date as Nigeria's Democracy Day is yet to settle. With this handshake coming 25 years after, a lot of questions is already been raised in the public space. Is this a politically motivated Trojan horse to win sympathy votes from the Southwest? Will the federal government take a step further to declare late Chief MQ Abiola the winner of the 1993 elections? Will there be a truth and reconciliation process to look into the sudden and mysterious death of late MQ Abiola and other ills connected to the June 12 saga? As we try to find answers to these and many more questions, our guest is the first son of the late business mogul and the acclaimed winner of the June 12, 1993 elections, Mr. Kola Abiola. Join us in this interview. For me, it, it was unfinished business. And I didn't think it appropriate to not um, to do anything otherwise so I think see to its logical end. And today, uh, well, as of June 6th, um, 2018, it came to an end for me. And then maybe going forward now, maybe I can look at other things politically. But for me, I needed to deliver that ticket, whichever which, which way it came. And I think I've delivered that now. It it appears was, you, you, you were doing all this stuff on the ground yes. because not much of you was seen in the public space. That's how I do my thing. I know I don't make a lot of noise. Now well, that the, uh, the federal government has given late mm. MQ. Mm -hmm. uh, the highest national award, right. and also recognizing June 12 as mm -hmm. Democracy Day. Did you see this coming? But of course. Um, like I said, it all started with General Diego. When, when he passed away, went back to the drawing board and figured out how best to still achieve the same objective. So what I did was during General Basinger's eight years, I was a little silent about it, but all along, I knew the only other way of doing it is to to be able to get him a national honor, which is a GCFR. Of all the titles MQ has, collect, has gotten in Nigeria, he's never gotten a national award. And I felt there's only one appropriate national award, which is a GCFR. So after Baba left, I approached my brother, because he's I'm very close, I remember the family, the Yaradua family. I approached the then president, uh, Yaradua, I mutual the idea to him, but unfortunately he didn't live long enough. I'm pretty sure he would have done it from the discussions we had. And once he passed away, I left it and then moved on to the Yaradua uh, administration. Now, I started talking to people in the uh, Jonathan administration immediately he came in, but not nothing formal to that point. Uh, but I started just sounding out and figuring who I could speak to to help make it happen. Of course, uh, p perhaps that played out in the attempted uh, in, in the attempt to uh, rename Unilag okay. uh, Maui University. Very good point. University. So at the, at the point they made that announcement and it blew back at their faces, and now pushed them formally. Now, I didn't write to, to them, but what I did, and that was deliberate, I didn't write to them. What I did was to go to them and said, look, if you guys had consulted, and I told you exactly what needed to be done. Did you, did you think that was the right step to take? That was a mistake. They were trying to regionalize and kill. He, he was past that. This man was voted across the board in Nigeria, irrespective of religion. So I went back to them and said, look, this is a mistake. If you had consulted, I would have told you the appropriate thing to do. Now, I didn't write then because I wanted it to appear as an initiative of government. I met, I spoke to the, uh, the then Attorney General, Adokie. God so good is still alive, if you can find him, that is. <laughs> I spoke to him, and we, get, we started the process going. We, along the way, we had problems from the National Merit Award uh, committee. I found out he Adoki confirmed that to me. So I figured that I will find a way around that to make it happen. 
He now told me to go get a pub, uh, uh, um, an opinion from a qualified legal entity to justify, to help him justify why it can be done. So I went to uh, Professor Bolaho Elias. We got, he wrote an opinion. I showed it to Adokie. He was excited. He felt this exactly solves the problem and assured me that he would use that opinion on a copy letter to Mr. President for, con for, for approval and confirmation. At that, that point, we were getting very close to the centenary celebrations. celebrations. So, and he assured me that it would be announced as part of that program. Three weeks to the event, I now found out that what was going to be given was a bold award. So I tried to reach Adriki and say, look, come, this is not what you and I, I mean, but if you go ahead with it, I will not accept it. 